everyone, Misty here again from Unique Treasures by MJ. Of course, M is for me, Misty, and J is for my mom, Joyce. Today, I was going to bring you a craft together, but I crafted together and I looked over to shut off the video on my Mac computer, and it was just spinning, and it was at the very end, but not quite the end. So I'm just going to have to verbally, I guess, go over so that I can get a video out to you while I'm working on my project for the YouTube Hop with MelodyMade.com, who is also the creator of Newbie Junk Journal Makers, one of my favorite groups I belong to. So let me go ahead and tell you... <laughs> The whole purpose of this was to just show you to try, experiment, encourage you to try and experiment with different mediums and, you know, just pull some tags out so that if you love it, it's already a tag. Um, or get a piece of paper and just try different things in the corners and then cut tags out of them by hand or tracing a tag on there. Or if you have a tag cutter, you know, um, you know die cut. So this is a, um, I'm going to go over just some of the things I did on camera that you're not going to see because I ended up having to turn my computer off manually and I lost the entire video. So I apologize. So, but let's go ahead and do this. This is a tag that came in one of my packs of ephemera and I love it. I'm sorry, it's got some stuff on the back here now that I've been working on it. I, I do love it. Um, however, I decided to let's go ahead and take this tag and put, this is just, a, I don't know if y'all can see it, yeah, I can see it in the, in the film, uh, on my screen, excuse me. Um, these are just two interconnected pieces of one long border that I put on top and I decoupaged, first I decoupaged the tag, then I put these on top decoupaged over them, let it dry, and then I came back and I took, um, where are you? I have it here. Trying not to hit that camera. I took this napkin here and I took, ripped out one of these birds and I um, decoupaged the bird on there. Now, it's okay if you can't quite see the bird or you can, um, however, it gives it great uh, just color and contrast, and I just think that is so neat. And you can actually keep going. You know, there's rubs um, on here. Uh, there's we. I actually have some. I don't want to put it on here, uh, but there is different types of rubs that look like brass or gold, and you can rub it on here, and it would give it a really neat look. You can just keep adding and layering, layering different mediums. I could go over here now with some of this, which we're going to go over next. Um, you'll see that this is not lobster bisque, but this is some uh, paste that I made. So instead of buying the expensive stuff that I used to, I took it. Um, well, I could do this on this again, but I took it and I chose this stencil. And I put it on here in different spots with my uh, knife, my palette knife. And then I took my dryer on camera and I dried it and I set it aside and went back and finished that tag. So let's go ahead and move on to this one since we're talking about this. This, I do not have the exact recipe that I used. I don't know what I did with it. I made so much and this has lasted me a year already and it's still good. I just used it. And... I just keep it in this lost, but I know it, it had glue and it had powder. I do remember that much. So online, I googled paste, how to make your own paste with powder. Several recipes came up. Videos came up from two minutes to six minutes. So go ahead and find your own video that you feel comfortable with to follow how to make this, or I will do it again. If you put it in the comments below that you would like for me to make a video on making this medium. So I took it, 
spread it, let it dry. Then I went back over it with inks. And I went back over it with, I know these are two of the inks here that I used. And of course I used a, an orange one that I do not have. And I was just experimenting. Um, that's plain and simple of it. I was experimenting and then I decided to go a step further and let's try um, some decorations to see what that would look like. And I took this, I put this here because there is purple in this and it's hard to kind of maneuver it. Not hard, but you know, a little more challenging when you have um, the, the circles that are raised. And um, I took this here and I kind of had her sitting on this here. I personally like my things going off. Some people would prefer not because they don't, they're afraid it, you know, if they're going to use it a lot, they'll rip it. So, you know, she can actually go more on and fit on here. Now you can spread her out make her go up. You could take this off completely and play with the circle and see where you, you'd want something like that. You know, um, I could fill more in. I could say, you know, I think I want to bring some blue in and actually go grab the blue and um, let's just do it. You know, I, I, I did this video for you guys, so let's try it. I am not afraid of not liking something. And I am going to, I don't have my Let's um, try to press some blue in here. And you know, I could always go back. See, that's what I was wanting to do right there. And I don't have to color the whole thing. I could just bring the blue in, which is a beautiful thing. I can go back and pick a darker color now and go around it or pick the blue and go around it and still leave this area here blue free right on the outside. And put I can see it's still a little wet. I can put this on here. I put her in here. I can um, spread this out. I can make it to where she's not directly, you know, centered with it. And this I have here as a filler because it's a pretty tall tag. See how that works? I could go ahead and run this through the machine and um, I could emboss this so it has texture and then go over it with another color. So that's an idea. But do you see how this is working? Just trying different things. I just think this is so cool. I love this actually, <laughs> believe it or not. I, I like the little bird on there. I don't know if you can see him or not. But, and I just think this is the coolest thing. Isn't that really neat? I think that is super neat. And those bubbles are raised. You could turn this from, you know, uh, whimsical to let's get some cowboy boots. Let's make this a little browner. Outline this. You know, put a cowboy hat up here. Put a saying. You know, that kind of thing. Um, you can also take this and this, now this is really cool because this is embossed. This was made from a die cut and this is, um, recessed on this side, which means it's going in this. I went ahead and took this and it's a purple, as you see, all purple paper. And then I ran blue over it, which gave it its own life. It was beautiful. Then I went and took the, um, I call it burgundy. Let's see if I can grab it really quick without taking too much of y'all's time. Um, vintage burgundy maybe. It was, is it out here still? It might still be out here. Oop, let's see, don't touch that camera. I am, I have so many of these in here and I do apologize. <laughs> I would really like to tell you what I used here. Let's aged mahogany. That's what it was. I would prefer to grab it and see it so that I could show you guys. But yes, here it is. 
aged mahogany. That is what is over the blue. So that turned out pretty cool, I think. So, you know, here you go. Texture. Here this was um, a regular sheet of paper. See? Um, it, it was a sheet of paper. And I went ahead and... Um, no, it was a 6x6 six six paper. And I went ahead and embossed it. T threw it in the tea. Left it overnight. Came back. Took it out of the tea in the morning, and on 300, I baked it. Now, you can see that I threw it on the rack while I was baking um, on sheets, um, but I still love it, you know? I can go over this with color still, too, uh, if I wanted to. So, those are just cool, and you can layer on that, of course, put some lace on there, throw some buttons on it, call it a day. You know, this is just great. This excites me. I love doing this kind of stuff. So, you know... Get out your stuff. Either grab a large sheet of paper, you know, try different textures and mediums, throw some paint on there, throw some sand in it. You know, seriously, it is pretty amazing. And, you know, throw some sparkles in there, dry it, and then start cutting out your shapes. And, you know, make something with it. Make a card with it. Make a background with it. It's, it's really neat. You can do a lot here. But again, thank you for being with me today. Make sure you subscribe. Coming up, don't forget that we have the YouTube Hop. The results are going to be coming out on the 21st. There's five of us, and we're going to be linking each other's uh, addresses, YouTube channels, underneath, so that you can see what we did with our challenge packets that we received from MelodyMade.com, her store, her fabrics, her challenge. It's going to be a lot of fun. Make sure you don't miss it. All right, y'all. Have a great day and happy crafting.